Nemso Indian Defense, Ragazin, Gligoric, Bronstein Variation, 9.QE2 a 6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. bd3 develops the bishop, supports the e4 square and keeps black guessing whether the knight will develop to f3 or e2. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and prepares castling. c5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and supports the bishop on b4. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The move dxc4 liberates the center and takes the c4 pawn. bxc4 captures the c4 pawn and allows the queen to support the d4 pawn. nbd7 develops the knight toward the center and protects the c5 pawn. qe2 develops the queen and clears the d1 square for the f1 rook. Games Master it is the final book action. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. Very precise. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This is the only good move. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a great move. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is excellent. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is quite good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. 
that game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. This is an equal trade. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.